What up, Chicago? My name is GLC, just in case you aren't familiar, in case you've been sleeping under the rock for the last couple of years, you know what I'm saying, and don't know who I am. I'm just exercising my G, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm down here at the Vic Theater here in Chicago. This is a historic landmark, you know what I'm saying, and I'm here for a very noble cause, you know. Um, a poetry competition that involves high school kids and elementary school kids and they here exercising AG and showing their uh, mental capacity but on a verbal level you know what I'm saying and I'm here to uh, root them on and uh, pick a winner although all the kids are winners because if this is a kid is doing something to better themselves they're a winner that's a winner winners mentality a winner attitude and I just want to see them win but aside from that I've been winning myself lately man uh, I've been working on my album. It's called Love, Life, and Loyalty. It's due out this year. Oh, wait, I know y'all been waiting. I'm sorry for having y'all wait this long, but I love y'all, so I've been taking my time and getting it piece by piece refined so y'all will love me the same way I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just got back from L.A. I'm, um, I was out there shooting a movie, man. Um, I'm working on a movie, actually. Uh, it's called Legend 25. It's about this dude named Ben Wilson out of Chicago, Illinois. He was the number one high school basketball player in the nation back in 84. He went to Simeon Vocational, my alma mater. And uh, man, he was murdered, you know? And uh, his legacy lives on today. And y'all finna get a good uh, touch and taste of that in the uh, movie, you know what I'm saying? I'm also in another movie that's out in uh, Blockbuster. It's called Gangster Rap. It was uh, directed by an Oscar winning um, He's the guy, I don't even know what it's called, the Oscar winning dude that does the score for movies. Whatever that's called, you know what I'm saying? His name is Paul Stewart. He won an Oscar for the Hustle and Flow soundtrack. The Three Six Mafia won an Oscar for as well. And he produced this movie called Gangster Rap. They call it a Glockumentary. It's sort of like a CB4 type film. And GLC's in it, you know what I'm saying? So support that as well. Uh, I got mixtapes out, the Drive Slow mixtape. I just spoke to my buddy A-Track today, the five-time world champion DMC, uh, DMC DJ champion. And uh, we're about to do Drive Slow part two. And he's also playing a very, very strong part in the uh, completion of my album as far as just uh, you know his input because he's a worldwide DJ and he sees what people like to dance to in Bangladesh You know what I'm saying or in uh, Honduras and stuff like that. He'd be all over the world, you know, Czechoslovakia everywhere. He's getting it in So I want to I just want to win man. I want to capture a world audience and I, I just really appreciate the support that Chicago has given me Chicago has really been standing behind me like man I've been on the road I've been touring I've been overseas but I'm always getting phone phone calls talking about it's a song that you got on the radio with somebody they don't be knowing who the other person is a lot of the time only because I got like over 50 features with Chicago artists and through the grace of God the radio stations here have been showing these people love and I happen to be on the song with them so I'm getting love too you know what I'm saying so, uh, man, it just feels really good to be moving forward, man. Like, really good, really blessed. I just uh, did a video game coming out on Midway. I can't tell y'all the name of the game or I won't get my money. But, uh, yeah, I'm on a video game. Um, man, I played a star character in there. My co-star is a um, superstar, you know what I'm saying? So y'all gonna be like, wow, he's the co-star to GLC? That's right, because I am church on the move. Uh, man. Any more dunk contests in the future? Oh, man, you know what? I got two rings, you know, and I'm thinking like Michael Jordan, you know what I'm saying? He got two rings. Um, and his legacy is something that's unparalleled by anyone, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like, do I want to really like I don't know if Mike could take it as a disrespect if I get another ring, you know what I'm saying, and he only got two, and I have three, and I'll be the top dunk championship of all time. Dunk, dunk contest supreme, supremacy. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm shooting for. And, you know, due to the fact that the fans, it's really the fans, man, because when I do those dunks, when I be in the air and I be thinking about what I'm going to do, I never know what I'm going to do. Before I do it, I just think about, hmm. What having the fans seen or what might the fans want to see right. and I just do it man you know it's a beautiful thing man. like one time I was in the air and uh, my cell phone rang I answered my cell phone I had me a little drink put my drink down and I dunk you know what I'm saying and at that time I had thought of another dunk y'all didn't get to see that one on YouTube yet but it's coming so keep your eyes open man it's been a beautiful thing out here I got a cartoon I've been working on it's called Haterville the guy Tater Chip is a uh, Tater Chip Mac and Hard it's on YouTube as well you can see that that dude is about to be a household name he's a celebrity and uh i drew him you know what i'm saying so honor him and respect him and embrace his concept uh my space has been very good to me 
I got uh, interviews all over this internet, man. Fake short drive for one, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> ain't did nothing but show me love, life, and loyalty in the process of my progress, you know what I'm saying? Um, man, GLC just been treated really good, man. Just been getting a lot of love, man. I talked to a guy out of Atlanta the other day. He, he's a Grammy Award winning rapper. He was on this song with Outkast called The Whole World. And uh, the whole world love you when you can't get down. His name was Killer Mike. And I got this video that I did uh, a while back, maybe like a, a, two months ago, I put it on YouTube. And I'm already over 40,000 views, thanks to you, the people. And hopefully, y'all will just go home and just watch it 20 more times today. And I'll be at like 400,000 views, you know what I'm saying? And that'll be beautiful. But the dude's name is Killer Mike. And he told me that the Honor Me record is his theme song. And it just feels good when you hear other rappers respect you and respect what you do like it's a beautiful thing but more than just other rappers just people in general you know when people say man I lost my mama or I had a bad day at work or man I used to hustle but now I'm trying to do better things I'm trying to evolve like you did how can I do that and then they'd be like man I'm glad you said that in that song because it stuck with me I had people tell me things like man I listened to your record, Shot State of Mind, on the way home from my guy's funeral, man, and it made me feel better, and this and that. I like to make music that sparks people's emotions, you know, it makes mm -hmm. you feel a certain way. Either it's gonna make you feel happy, it's gonna make you laugh, it's gonna make you, it's very thought provoking, it's gonna have you like, damn, it's gonna make you think I'm sitting in the car with you when you're riding around listening to it, like, man, is he talking about me? Or you're gonna see stuff that's going on outside that window, and you're gonna be like, Man, like, it's sort of like, you know how Tupac lyrics, like mm -hmm. how he been deceased, well, he made his transition back in 96, but his lyrics are still relevant today. I'm alive, and my lyrics are relevant today, too. You know what I'm saying? So it's a beautiful thing, man. People have really been embracing my concept. Um, and, uh, man, I just want to send a shout out to my man Eric because he got a jerry curl. <laughs> and it's real cool, you know what I'm saying? Is he in here? Oh, no, he ain't in here, man. We got Roosevelt Cheser Chess in here, though. He one of the realest G's. We got Brandon G up in here, man. We got Coco up in here. She a real G. She don't play. And, man, we just in it to win it, man. You know what I'm saying? Chicago's been good to me, and I'm going to continue to be good to y'all because it really touches me, like, on my space when people be hitting me up talking about Man, thank you for what you're doing for the city. Like, I was in the studio here on 500 West Cermak maybe a few months back, and this dude came in there and told me, man, you a legend. And I really didn't understand what he was talking about, but then he just started breaking it down, how my music has affected his life. And he really got to be a fan because I don't really have no album out. So he must really have my little mixtapes or be on MySpace listening to the same songs over and over again. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of that, I got a song on this new uh, soundtrack for this uh, documentary on this dude named Fluky Stokes. He was the biggest independent uh, street hustler in the history of the city of Chicago. And uh, man, the story is compelling. Like, it's really compelling. It, it really... Uh, it sparks your ambition, not to not to do negative things, but just to know that you can come from nothing and you can really gain mm. something. You know, like just because you come from a negative background, don't always mean you got to be counted out. You know what I'm saying? Because the the environment that I was raised in, it wasn't the greatest. You know, but we made great things that, uh, come from it. So I'm one of the great things that came from it. I'm one of the great things that came from the city of Chicago, from the South Side, and I just hope that I can inspire you to continue to do great things as well. Love, life, and loyalty. And if you're a pretty girl, I really like you. <laughs> Church.